had a lot of elections and I've never covered any that has uh, commenced at 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. So maybe, maybe, just maybe this would be the first. But I say that because, you know, those were some of the assurances that INEC once again gave that they would ensure um, uh, uh, early arrival of their officials and materials, sensitive and non-sensitive, to the polling units. Now, yesterday, when we uh, ha had the, the Residence Electoral Commissioner live on air, he mentioned that their expectation is that by 8.30 a.m., uh, this uh, simultaneous voting accreditation would commence. So we, I am hoping to, that's actually one uh, thing I'll be looking out for to see if perhaps this would be the first election in, <laughs> that I'll be covering that would actually uh, commence at 8 or 8.30 a.m. Knowing fully well that the terrain here uh, occasioned by the, by the not so convenient roads in uh, those states might pose a challenge to that. And you know you have about nine uh, River Rhine local government area. So these are some of the uh, issues that might might uh, hinder or slow INEC down from achieving its early start target. Generally, uh, the commission has said they are they are prepared. I was at their headquarters yesterday. Uh, the most of most of the, the resident electoral commissioner wasn't there. The many of their uh, heads of department uh, were not were not on ground at the at the command, uh, at, uh, I beg your pardon, at the INEX state headquarters. Many of them were out uh, in the field monitoring and making last minute preparations, ensuring that uh, things were going well. Security agencies were, were you know, uh, giving absolute security to that location, which I believe will be the collation center later in the day. So generally, the, the commission has said they are ready. I believe that the true assessment or test of their preparedness would, would it, it, by, by my clock, in, in, about, uh, in about one hour's time, we'll be able to tell uh, those who will begin to we'll know if we are finally seeing early signs of, uh, of a good performance from the Commission. All right, looking at um, the rains are here, let's talk about the weather. How's the weather this morning? Uh, there's signs that uh, there'll be rain showers later in the day, or is it so beautiful this morning? It's a very cool, calm, lovely weather, but you know that we are prepared for the downpour. In our vehicles, we have our umbrellas, we have our raincoats, uh, and of course, we wash shoes that are that are that that are weather that would be weather compliant if it begins to rain. Mm. Of course, you know that uh, given the uh, yesterday I mentioned that the civil society uh, the civil society situation room yesterday at their maiden briefing on their those state election described the weather as an unpredictable variable and that's true the weather is really clear right now it's not sunny it's not wet it's just lovely weather if it stays like this I would be very happy everyone would be very happy this is the perfect weather for the Edo State uh, governorship election but you know the weather is very unpredictable in the next minute it could begin to rain it's been raining that way uh, since we got here so Everyone is prepared for the rain, I must say. Uh, yesterday, one of the, the concern that has been raised across, across, across board, speaking about observers, civil society, and even the political parties themselves, they are hoping that INEC has made arrangements for the rain. They do not want the situation where if the rain uh, begins to pour, I, uh, you, there will be situations where election will have to be suspended. So that's what they are saying, that if the rain comes, if the rain begins to pour, what plans uh, uh, have, has ANEC made to, to ensure that voting continues? You know, what plans have INEC made to shelter voters, to shelter its staff and all of that? So this is, INEC has said they are ready. So these are some of the things we'll also be looking out for when we go out into the field. It's, it's a clear weather right now, but trust me, what we're experiencing right now, uh, it's no guarantee that this is how the day is going to continue. Or it's no guarantee about how the day is going to end. The rain uh, could just begin to pour at any time. So uh, we, we hope that when it does, or if it does, uh, we would it would in no way hamper the smooth conduct of, uh, of the election. And some of the electorate might just want to sit back home and relax and enjoy the weather as, if the, as it is. Uh, but uh, there are other concerns, uh, and I wonder how that is playing out this morning uh, from what you are seeing across uh, Benin. Uh, there are talks about uh, the high cost of fuel, some saying that uh, that could be a major concern for them coming out for the election. Uh, there are others who are saying the situation of the economy is also a major concern. What are the feelers you're getting with regards to these issues? Well, absolutely. Uh, the 
cost of fuel would uh, pose a challenge because, you know, um, the cost of transportation has almost doubled, has tripled in some places. Yesterday, we, yesterday night, we bought uh, uh, fuel for 1,000.